1800s in North America, paleontologists, academics, and the general public were all obsessed with new dinosaur fossil discoveries. Though the core work was based on advancing science, many dinosaur fossil hunters would stop at nothing to advance their personal fame. This led to all sorts of nefarious actions between scientists, like bribery, theft, and even fossil destruction. They also didn't have all the benefits of modern analysis techniques to categorize dinosaur species, so would often mix up the bones of various dinosaurs, or at least accuse their rivals of doing so. In Paleontologist's Dilemma, three players will take on the role of these paleontologists, racing to get completed dinosaur skeletons organized and accepted into a museum. Each color of fossil on a dinosaur card represents a unique dinosaur specimen, with the core of our work being matching correct fossils together for a full set of skull, body, and tail fossils. Each turn, you'll play fossil cards and choose between abilities based in science for the greater good of discovery, or turning on each other with abilities based on fame for personal gain. The first player to have a matching color set dinosaur skeleton face up in their museum wins the game. There are three colors of dinosaurs, three distinct body parts, and two complete dinosaurs of each color, totaling 18 fossil cards in play. Each card has two of ten different abilities on it, one advancing science and one advancing fame. Each player starts with two cards in hand and has their choice to play either card in either orientation for its ability. In a round, each player chooses a card and side and places it into the center. They all reveal their cards simultaneously, and depending on who chose science or fame, there are four different outcomes. In this case, two science and one fame means the fame card wins out, and the others are discarded. Whichever players succeeded resolved their effects, in this case copying the effect of another face-up card in a museum area. That's pretty great for us, gets us a purple skull and body fossil face-up in our museum. And our third card is the purple tail. If we can survive long enough to flip that face-down card face-up, we will win the game with a completed skeleton of the same color. 